Hello, welcome to West Ham. Oi, oi, with me, Avka Sparrow. And what a week it's been in the West Ham world. Yes, right here on Irons United. Uh, look, Man United came to town. And let's face it, we sent them back up north with their tails between their legs and never to return with a chip on their shoulder. Yes, uh, the boys did great, didn't they, actually, uh, on Saturday? Uh, look, let's, let's lay our cards on the table, as it were. I don't think either side played brilliantly well in that final third. There's a lot of misplaced passes, a lot of misplaced crosses, overhit crosses, that kind of thing. However, we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Man United, who aren't really the team of old, but who cares? You play who's in front of you. We went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. They had their opportunities. They could have easily scored in the second half. I think Massa just, you know, fizzed past the, you know, the, uh, the post. We had are great periods of play. Noble, I thought, was great. Diop had a good game as well. Fabianski, again, was fantastic. Made a couple of crucial saves for us. Um, but Yarmolenko was getting better, and he scored again. You know, and, and what, a, what a great goal that was, I, I thought. You know, it was kind of... There wasn't a lot of power in it, it seemed. It just seemed to sort of, sort of float in the, um, the left-hand corner there, bottom left-hand corner. Um, and it was almost like a... A, an intelligent goal as opposed to a just a hit it and hope. So I love that from Yarmolenko. And I, you, know, you could see that before there, and he was getting a little bit more in the game. He was getting a bit more active on, on that right-hand side. So, you know, I, I think I think Yarmolenko is still in development. I think he's still growing into the Premiership and growing into the West Ham team. So I think we've got some great times ahead with him. I think at the back... All around, we were solid. I think Bonner, whilst he still verged on the side of calamity at times, he also did a, you know some good interceptions. You know, I think he was lucky, you know, uh, at a couple of uh, instances with his tackles, let's say. But you know, overall, him and Diop did okay. Fredericks, Speedy Gonzalez on the right hand side. I thought he was great. But look, for me, this is why I always prefer Creswell over Masuaku. Because I think he's a better defender. I know you guys out there, leave loads of comments below. Let me know what you think and all that kind of stuff. But, I, you know, he's better at defending, full stop. And I think once he gets his opportunity to go forward and deliver crosses, which he should do a lot more of and be better at, I just think he's a better option. He's more consistent. He's somebody who I can rely upon. Now... Forget about the, the world-class free kick that he scored, and he almost scored another free kick that's almost just as world-class, just before it just fizzed over the bar. You know, he give, fills me with confidence. I don't know about you, but he just fills me with confidence. When Masuaku's on the pitch, he doesn't fill me with confidence. That's not to say that Masuaku doesn't have good games. Of course not. And perhaps Pellegrini favours him anyway. But I just think it was great that Creswell came back into the side against Man United at home in front of the fans, packed out stadium, and he was able to produce a fantastic free kick, you know. And what what a great strike it was, you know, over the over the um, over the wall. De Gea unsighted, might say, but you know the wall didn't do its job. Well, he didn't enable it to do its job. It just went over the top at pace, dipped, fantastic goal. If that was Zico scoring that of old, or Beckham, or Ronaldo, or whatever, or Messi, everybody would be going, yeah, fantastic. Oh, but because it's Creswell, possibly not many people would be talking about it. But be, be, do not be mistaken, that was a world-class uh, goal from Creswell, and I love it. I love that result. I love it that Man United came down, who, let's not face it, uh, let's face it, are the, or one of the biggest teams in the world, and we've beaten them. And we've kind of not been intimidated by them. Probably Man United are that team in the top six of the old top six that nobody should fear anymore. Because they're just not as they were. And you could tell in the way they were playing. In, in many ways they resembled us the way we kind of play sometimes. Sometimes there's purpose. Sometimes there isn't. 
Sometimes there's a bit of success, sometimes there isn't. It's a bit of haphazard play. That's where we are. Look, we've got a lot to work on. Of course we have. But it was just a great day to be a West Ham fan. It's a great week to be a West Ham fan. I think, you know, look, we have we had a great result against uh, Norwich. We went away and we possibly could have got a better result at Aston Villa. But do you know what? Down to 10 men, we, you know, we, we, we came away with a draw. Hey, that's a point and it's a good point. So I'm happy with that. And now we're... You know we're uh, we, we just beat Man United and you know we're we're up the table. Yes, I know it's very early in the season. I'm not going to get carried away, but look, we're in Europe and we're going to be in Europe. All that kind of nonsense. I know that, but look, let me just have this one. Let me just sit here, drape myself in the claret and blue. I got this off eBay, by the way, really cheap. And uh, there you go. And I got to get the scarf, drape that around. And I got that from the club shop. Yeah, and uh, there we go. Uh, it's, uh, look, it's just brilliant, wasn't it? It was just brilliant. The fans loved it. And I, I think this is what I'm going to say about Pellegrini. In that, we've had his doubters. I'm probably one of his biggest doubters. And I'm still not 100% sure. But it does appear that this season, we do have a better balance to the side. It does appear that we have a bit more strength and depth with quality and depth. Yeah, look, defensively, we still have issues. Left back, right back in terms of first team choice, reserve, you know, that depth there. Yeah. But I think in midfield, we have a crack in midfield. And I think with Haller up, up there, that just gives us that confidence to be able to play up there. I think he had a solid game. I don't think he had a stellar game, but I think he had a solid game. Again, I think the service to him today was fantastic. Anderson looked good, but Noble, you know, in, in the centre of the park. And, and with Rice as well. Let's not forget the kid did a, had a great job as well, or did a, had a great game. But Noble, again, you know, you can talk about his athleticism, you can talk about his speed, you can talk about his lacking in quality compared to the other players. But I'm telling you what, you know, for me, he'll always be number one on the team sheet right now with Fabianski. Them two are, are always the ones that, you know, you can depend upon to put in a stellar performance. No, let me scrap that. Not a stellar performance, a committed performance. Those are the ones that you want to be relying on. Look over your shoulder when you're facing the, you know, the hordes of uh, the enemy invaders and they're right on your shoulder, standing right, right beside you and you know, you're going to go to war. And that's what it is when you're playing against these teams or any team in the Premier League. It is war and you've got to go out there and actually leave everything on the, on the pitch. And whilst I don't think we did that today in terms of just putting out and everything, I don't think the challenge was that great from them either. So I think we could kind of play it at their pace. Am I getting carried away? Yes, I am getting carried away. But who cares? We won 2 0. And we're right up there, you know, in the league right now. Fantastic stuff. You know what? Are we going to flatter to deceive? Possibly. Are we going to have our ups and downs this season? Almost undoubtedly. But I thought we just had. It was a brilliant day, a brilliant result. Let's roll on Oxford. <laughs> uh, let's see how we can play against them. Fingers crossed we don't embarrass ourselves there. But anyway, what can I say? Leave loads of comments below. Please subscribe to Irons United and uh, check out the website, uh, ironsunited.wordpress.com. And uh, as I say, please like, share and subscribe and all that kind of good stuff. And I'll catch you on the next Oi Oi show and hopefully it won't be a grumble show. Ta-da now.